In the how to install a plugin video, I showed you how to install the all-in-one SEO pack on your WordPress blog. One thing I didn't cover in that video was how to enable and configure the plugin because that's quite an involved subject and I'm going to cover that in this video. Once you've got the all-in-one SEO pack installed on your WordPress blog, you'll see a red banner like this which prompts you to go to the admin page to enable and configure the plugin. So let's do that now. Just click on the link here to take me to the admin page. And it takes you to this page here. And if you use the all-in-one SEO pack on a regular basis, then they ask you to make a donation as I covered in the other video. Okay, first thing to do is to alter the home title. And this is the meta title of your home page and this will be the title that all users are going to see in their browsers and it will replace this bit up in the top here. Now a lot of people get the title wrong. They stuff it full of keywords and think that that will help them for SEO purposes. Whereas in fact, nothing could be further from the truth. You want to make your title something that's readable and something that's going to catch people's eyes when they're doing a search in Google. So you want to think carefully about your title. It should have some keywords in it, but it shouldn't be just a whole load of keywords. And what I'm going to do here, I've got a document with some information in that I'm just going to copy and paste into the SEO pack page here. So I'm just going to copy this. You can yes, copy that to my computer's clipboard. And this is the title that I'm going to have for this blog, Sans Blog, a source of WordPress tuition. Now you've got the home description. Now the description is also sometimes known as a meta description and it's for the search engine and it's what people will see when your blog is listed in Google or the other search engines. And you can see what I'm talking about here. Let's say I had a blog in the dog niche then the description is going to be this bit here underneath the title. You've got the title and then here you can see we've got the description. And this is the description that I'm going to use. It's got a few keywords in it. Now one thing that you need to bear in mind with this description is you're limited to 160 characters. If you put more than 160 characters into the description then the search engines will cut it off at 160 characters. So you want to keep it under that so that people can read your entire description without it being truncated. With the description it's often trial and error to see what works and what doesn't. So you may in time have to go back and change your description uh, to get a better result if you find that the first one doesn't work as well as it should do. But the thing about using the all-in-one SEO pack is it's very easy to come back to this page and make any changes. Let's scroll down a bit here and the next box here is your keywords, the keywords that you want for your home page, the keywords that you want for the subject that your blog is covering. So I'm just going to paste some in here. go. Keyword research is quite a involved subject and it's beyond the scope of this video but you do want to do a lot of keyword research to make sure that you've got the right keywords for your blog. When you enter them in here you simply put them in with commas but not spaces in between. A few other changes that you need to make. Um, I keep both of these tick boxes checked. But you want to make some changes down here to the post title format. As it is set up, the all-in-one SEO pack will put the post title and the blog title after every post uh, when it's shown in the search engines. Now this is not a good idea because if you have a really long post title 
and then it's separated from your blog title here by this pipe character it can make things very long indeed and the search engines may truncate it and it could be distracting and could put people off from visiting your blog so what you want to do is to delete this last bit the pipe character where it says percentage blog underscore title and then the percentage sign again so just delete that and do the same here for where it says page title format just get rid of that there. All the others can stay the same. The category titles are generally quite short anyway and likewise archives are just usually date etc. Everything else you should simply leave the same. Uh, I wouldn't bother checking these check marks here and all this other stuff here I would just simply leave that blank and that's that so click on update options and there we go and now we need to enable it and of course if you enjoy this plugin you should of course make a donation and then check the checkbox there so let's um, update that again and there we go the all-in-one SEO options is updated okay now there's one other thing that this plugin does which I'll show you which is when you make a new post let me just come here to posts and when I click on add new and I scroll down a bit here you'll see at the bottom you've got this part here that says all-in-one SEO pack and this gives you the options of adding a specific title to your post and it will tell you how many characters there are and like it says here most search engines use a maximum of 60 characters for the title so you can put in a custom one there you can put in a custom description along the lines of the one that I showed you when we were setting up the all-in-one SEO pack and you can put your own keywords for each post so it means that you can customize every post for maximum search engine optimization.